Hello and welcome to part two of this Com Mary challenge. My chair is turning around. Bye. This is all about books. My bookshelf is behind me. I also have a bookshelf downstairs and I have some books in the corner. So I have books scattered all around the place. This is following, um, again, this book and she talks about categorizing things so instead of going room by room it's about going from category to category and subcategorizing things so for me today is my day off of university and work and all those life demanding things so i'm going to do books stationery and paper today hopefully which basically is this room almost but it's still there's little bits and pieces like there's my shelving in the corner that needs to be like decluttered and organized but that again that's a completely different category so i'm just focusing on books paper and stationery So this is my bookshelf now, it's way more organized as you can see. I actually moved the CDs from this row to this row. Um, this is a category of its own so I need to go through my CDs in my own time but it looks much neater and better and I like how there's some space now. The other books I'm keeping are in this pile here. These are all self-help books, um, personal development, uh, things like that. So books I'm really into. So they are all going in this shelf somewhere when I sort that out as well. I'm also keeping some dictionaries, um, Spanish dictionaries as well because Mark speaks Spanish. And these are a couple of autobiographies or biographies. Um, that I'm keeping too because I really like them. I have to find some more downstairs. And so far these are all the books that I am donating slash giving away. Um, so I've got um, Assassin's Apprentice by Rowan Hobb because I already have a copy, Fifty Shades of Grey because it's the shittest book in the world. Um, I don't even know why I bought that, it's so bad. Um, Stephen King, I didn't really like it. Jodie Picoult because I didn't like it. Me Before You because I didn't like it. Another Jodie Picoult, didn't like it. I don't really like her writing style. And this massive one down the bottom because I just never read it. A couple of them I've never even read. And these are the magazines I'm discarding over here. And these are all the magazines that I am keeping because I constantly read them. So now we're going to go downstairs and see the rest of the books. These were pretty easy to subdivide and categorize. I'm only getting rid of these top ones here. Um, I haven't read this before and it's by JK Rowling, so I really want to read it. Then I've got some poetry on the side. I've got some classics like the Bridge to Terabathia and Colin Teeley book. Some more self-help books, which are going to go upstairs. Um, almost every book that Paulo Coelho has written because um, Mark and I both love him as an author. I think he's great. Some autobiographies here, which will go upstairs to join my other collection, or they will come downstairs. And um, Game of Thrones, um, the first book, which George Martin actually signed when I met him. So that's exciting, and that's definitely something I'm keeping, obviously. And The Hobbit and the entire Lord of the Rings collection. So all this, well, not all of it, but some of this is going back in here, and others are going upstairs to my other books. Okie dokie, so that is all my books decluttered and organized accordingly. 
Um, I absolutely love it. It looks so much better now and I've gotten rid of books that I would never read or have read and didn't like. Um, and downstairs book cupboard is so organized now as well. I now know that autobiographies are down there, Lord of the Rings, that kind of thing. So, and Paulo Coelho's entire collection. So I'm really happy with that. So this is my desk um, so far. I've just got a couple of bits and pieces here that don't have a home, so I just need to find out where to put them. But I basically chucked out all my stationery that didn't work and put it all in little separate things up here. So pens, highlighters, and miscellaneous are divided. And then I've got USBs and such. And this is like not as cluttered as before, which is good because I need a more inspiring kind of space. I am just going through this big craft box, which we keep under here and we just keep it under there because we have nowhere else to put it. So I'm just going through and looking at um, all the bits and pieces and looking if I need to discard them, if they're worth keeping. Okay, so I'm basically done with my desk and organization of, of this subcategory, <laughs> this section. This is what my desk looks like now. So it's just really spacious and clear now. Well, a little bit more spacious than what it was. And now I just have to keep this area um, clear. Everything has a place now, so that's gonna be a bit easier. I want to declutter this a little bit more. Um, I'm just not sure what to do with this basket. I might move it somewhere else. Um, and then this section in the corner is a little bit cluttered. Um, but I don't mind it. Like I really like my crystals and my candles. So um, I don't mind to be honest. And my microphone's there for, cause I do singing and um, record voiceovers and things like that. So I'm happy with that. Then on the floor um, is this craft box, which I have um, kind of diminished down. Whoops. So there's just like the pencils uh, and stickers and all left. Um, and then I've got some things outside which we need to use, um, their postcards, things like that. Over here is just like the miscellaneous stuff that was in there, just hiding away, just doing nothing. So it's really, this is Mark's stuff. So it's up to him what he wants to do with this. It's there's some old photos, um, some sketches that he's done because he likes to draw. Um, so he can go through that when he comes home from work today. But I'm pretty happy with the progress I made today. I 
completely decluttered my books. And then in the next video, part three, I'm going to be doing um, my cupboard space with the rest of that and the bathroom. Um, which needs to be decluttered really bad and then after that I reckon I'll tackle the kitchen and more downstairs section and then I am done. I really like making these. I'm really getting into making videos and um, reviewing different books and so far The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up has been fantastic and I highly recommend you go pick it up and read it because it's a really easy read and it's really practical and I love those two things about books. So yeah, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye!